I will try to use this video to show you what an intermittent exotropia looks like or what an intermittent deviation looks like. So at the moment we're seeing this young boy looking at a target in the distance. And what we can see just by observation is that he looks straight. If by observation the um, individual looks straight, then it's highly likely that when you begin the cover test that you'll either find that there's no deviation or there's a latent deviation. Well, that's my expectation uh, as I begin the cover test. So let's see what she finds. Okay, so she's about to do the cover test and she covers the left eye. I'll pause here. And what I'm interested in this moment is that when she covers the left eye, I look at the right eye and there was no movement of the right eye, which tells me that there's no right manifest deviation. So there's no uh, right exotropia or right esotropia. Now, the next thing you should do is take the cover away and look under to see if there's a latent deviation. Okay. Now, unfortunately, she's moved straight into alternate cover test, so she's not doing a traditional cover test or the type of cover test that you should be doing in the exam. But in any case, what we see is that that left eye moved slightly in as she moved the cover to the other eye, which tells me that there's an exophoria. Let's see her continue that test. Okay, I can see the right eye moved slightly in, Okay, that's just him being poor fixation. Okay, there we go. And we can definitely see this exophoria on alternate cover test. Now, I'll just take you back a fraction. Now, as she takes the cover completely away, what we see now is that both eyes open, there's definitely an exotropia. There is a left exotropia. So there is a distinct difference between how he started the test, where he looks straight, to now where he's got a left exotropia. This is an intermittent deviation. So there is a moment of being straight versus a moment of being manifest. So what he has is this exodeviation, which at times he controls and at times he doesn't control. And in this very moment, we see that there is no control as he's remained as a left exotropia. Okay, she covered the right eye there and that's the confirmation that there is a left XT there because on cover, when she covered the right eye, the left eye came in to take up fixation. Okay, she's moved to alternate again. And now we see a right exotropia. So he's likely to be a alternating exotropia when he's manifest, which makes sense because usually intermittent deviations result in good VA or equal VA, which then generally results in no fixation preference. So they can fix with the right or the left. Okay, so I'm just going to show you now the three different states that we saw during this cover test. One here, we saw him looking straight. Then later we saw a left exotropia. And lastly, we saw a right exotropia. So that's what an intermittent deviation looks like. 